how to reduce drop shipping costs on your Shopify store today. Hey guys, it's Mark here from Speed Fulfill, and I'm back with another video sharing tips and tricks courtesy of your supplier plug here in China. High shipping costs tend to eat into drop shipping margins, so it is crucial to find a good balance on how you can get the best shipping rates from your supplier today. There are many factors that affect the shipping costs and it is important to learn what are these factors and how you can use it to your advantage. So today we will share five tips that you should know on how to reduce your dropshipping shipping rates today. Tip number one is understand the weight size and dimensions of your product. There are different protective materials that can be used to package your product and optimize it for shipping. You have Bubble wraps, for example, air pillows, ETC. This is in order to protect delicate items that are in transit, allowing your customers to receive products in the best condition possible. But note that not all protective materials are the same. So how can you use this to reduce your shipping costs? Make sure to look for lightweight protective materials such as bubble wrap that don't add a lot of weight to your products and can still give you an optimal quotation in terms of shipping rates. So a good way to think about it is the less that your package weighs, the cheaper it will be to ship it out. So make sure to find the right protective packaging that fits your brand. In addition, you could try to reduce the dimensions of the packaging size as much as possible. Shipping companies will charge you based on dimensional weight. This means they will charge you based on the volumetric size of the product. So this means, for example, lightweight products such as clothes, there is no reasoning to put them in a box as this will just add extra volume and will mean a higher shipping cost. For lightweight products such as clothing, you could use lightweight polymailer packaging solutions that are cheaper and more fitting to the clothing brand niche, for example. They are cheap, take up less space and reduce your overall shipping rate. Tip number two is consolidate your orders. Whenever the situation is possible, Try to group products together and ship them out together. When possible, group products to be shipped together to reduce not only packing time, but also cost. The number of packages being sent can increase the cost while larger and oversized items may cost more. So this would save you a lot of money as compared to sending smaller multiple packages for the same products. The third one is interesting, charge more or your products. When you want to attract the best customers, offering free shipping is smart. But keep in mind that shipping costs that you incur will be coming directly out of your pocket as the dropshipper. Nobody these days likes to pay for shipping. Most customers are expecting stores to have free shipping. So what you can do is raise your prices just enough so that it can cover this shipping cost. So even though it is not a very cost effective way, it is a smart way to keep your profits higher and have a lower cart abandonment percentage. Tip number four, stay updated on shipping rates. Shipping costs is not fixed. It goes up and down. Every year, shipping carriers will review their prices. So if your current supplier increases the price, don't just accept the price. Have a look at the general market and see if this is the general trend regarding your shipping line. As most dropshippers know, towards the end of quarter three, start of Q4, a lot of logistics companies steadily increase their shipping rates. So to be on the safe side, look at the market and see what others are charging at that particular time. So normally prices will increase during holidays and quarter four and will decrease shortly after those events. A lot of suppliers will keep you updated on when shipping costs increase but a lot of suppliers don't let you know when shipping costs have decreased. So you need to stay on top of the game and follow and track shipping rates throughout the year. The last and number five, try to make smart product choices. So when you are trying to reduce shipping costs, make sure to go for products that are lightweight or smaller in volume. The logistics companies usually have limitations of drop shipping products that shouldn't exceed a length of 60 centimeters in packaging size. If you have a product that exceeds this length limit, and a good example is a portable tent, you will receive incredibly high shipping costs. So try to keep your products 
small and lightweight. Keep your products in the range of 200 to 500 grams, and this will give you the optimal quotations for your dropshipping store today. All in all, I hope you guys learned something today from our videos. It's important and helps us a lot if you can like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys in further videos. Until next time, see you guys. Peace.